Okay, so we're re recording the one I just almost recorded. It, oh, geez, I have low battery there. I hope this holds out. Everyone, hold your breath and see if this works. Don't worry, it's not going to be more than 10 or 15 minutes, so you don't have to hold your breath that long. See if you do it. All right, so um, I was going to tell you guys all how I invented aging. I told you in the past how I invented calendars and years and months and all that stuff. That's how we counted how old we were, but this is how we actually aged. You see, back in the day, we were all a bunch of babies, and all we did was crawl around our caves. We, you know, went hunting, and we couldn't really get anything more than, like, a mouse because we're just stupid little babies. We had to change our own diapers. There were no adults around. We had to do everything for ourselves, and it was really... Really hard to do anything because we're just babies. We just crawled around. I said, I said to everyone, I'm like, hey, everybody. As I talk like that, I talk like really funny. Hey, baby, baby, I got goo goo. Hey, everybody, isn't that cool? Because my hands are so tiny, I can't invent anything good. And they all said, well, what did you invent? I said, I invented this little rattle. And I put out my rattle, you know, kind of cool. I said, but now I want to do something better. I just I want to invent something that makes us grow so that we have bigger hands and I can invent more stuff. I don't talk so funny. And they all said, oh, you're just dreaming, man. You're just such a dreamer. You always have crazy ideas. I said, oh, let's see how crazy it is. So I got my chemistry set, and I started mixing together the concoction. I thought I'd do some genetic tampering. And I picked a couple of the babies for experiments. And the first one, I injected my formula, and all of a sudden, they started growing, growing, growing super fast, growing, 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 and their hair grew, and it started turning white. And they get bared, and, sh and all of a sudden, sh they crumble into dust. And I said, ooh, I missed my target there, because I was, I was targeting kind of the age of 22, and um, you guys will know what 22 means when I invent the calendar in the years later on. Uh, and, but that's why I'm targeting at 22, because you know, the, reason, the reason I'm targeting 22 is because you know, I, feel, I feel like 22. I don't know about you, but I'm feeling 22. Woo-hoo! You know? Later, I invented a song based on that, and then gave it to someone named Tyler, who then had a sex change and named her, changed her name to Taylor. Anyway, um, she was pretty fast. It was Tyler fast, but he changed his name to Taylor Swift after the, after the operation. Uh, anyway, so um, that's, that's a different story for another day. Um, but uh, I was targeting 22, and whoa, that didn't work out. So I tried another couple times, and some of the results, and I said, you guys, I just... I can't stop as a 22. If we're gonna do this aging thing, it's gonna go all the way up and we're gonna to get to the point where we turn to dust. We slowly turn to dust. And we'll look at how quick that went. And I said, you know, what I can do maybe is try to slow it down. So I started tinkering with my concoction and I injected uh, you know, the next couple of babies and it took a few years to watch and make sure the experiment worked. But it went really slow because everyone just, in that case, aged only every year. They only aged a year instead of much faster. And, um, in 22 years, everyone was 22. So that one worked, so I injected all of us with it. There were some babies who opted out. They said, I don't wanna grow up. I said, Peter, you know, it was my friend Peter, he didn't wanna grow up. Yeah, I don't wanna grow up. I said, dude, you gotta grow up sometimes. He's singing a song to me, he's like, I don't wanna grow up. And I said, Peter Pan, shameful. And I'm gonna banish you. I'm banishing you to Never Never Land. There's a little, little island that we call Never Never Land. So I banished him and all the other little babies to Never Never Land that didn't wanna grow up. And I injected everyone else with my formula, and everyone else grew up. And uh, Peter Pan went on to have some wacky adventures. I, I, you know, always knew that guy was a troublemaker. But more Peter Pan stories for another day. Um, he was Asian, by the way. And he did some business with me years ago. He's still around. He's still around. Yep. He still hasn't grown up. Shameful. Uh, but anyway, that is indeed how I invented aging. Um, Everyone told me that I should invent aging backwards so that when we got too old, we could go the other way. And I, I did try to do that, and I, um, there was this one guy, his name was Merlin, who was a friend of mine, another friend of mine, Merlin, and I, I you know, tried my experiment on him, and it did work. He's the only guy I worked on. Everyone else had just turned him instantly to dust. I don't know what was different about Merlin. He did have some kind of magic, uh, but Merlin went off to, um, to work with Mr. Arthur, Mr. Art, my friend Art, Artie, you know Artie? Yeah, he invented a round table. The tables I invented were all square, but he went and invented a round table, and that was just so unique and innovative that it attracted some of the, the greatest knights of the time, and they all sat around the round table. I think he said, dude, why do you sit around a square table? 
you call it sitting around. Dude, why is it a square table when you're sitting around the table? And I said, Artie, you, that makes perfect sense. I don't know why I never thought about that. You don't sit a square of the table, you sit around the table. And I already said, you know what? I'm making, I'm making a round table. And that would make much more sense for all of us. And I'm gonna get my friend Gally Had over and Lancy Lot. We're gonna have a party. And you know, that's a whole nother story. Anyway, I got off the subject of um, aging. And that's because Merlin, God, Merlin, always troublemaker. But he did help already pull the sword out of the, st the stone. And then uh, like these people just gave him a whole kingdom. The sword out of the stone and phew, suddenly he's a king. I, I never became a king. I pulled swords out of all sorts of things. I, most, I pulled swords out of people, in fact. And I didn't get to be a king. I mean, I did invent it, kings. So I guess that's something, but I didn't get to be one. I mean, I could have since I invented them. But it seemed like a lot of work. I don't want to take that responsibility. All right, guys. Another exciting episode. I'm glad you guys all learned something here today. And stay tuned because there's going to be more educational goodness. Love y'all. May the fourth be with you.